set up the Student Awards uh, two years ago, and they, they have grown out of the work that we've been doing at the Centre for Sustainable Fashion, which again has been going for about three years now, something like that. Um, and the idea came really um, last year where we held a major conference and, and also a fashion show, and the idea was to celebrate in the fashion show the work that students have been doing across the globe, because in the end, if we're going to have a solution to the problems facing us within the industry, then this is something that we all need to be addressing, and there are some wonderful ideas taking place um, across the world, and we want to celebrate the work of students, and this, as I said, this isn't just one thing that one institution can do. So the thought was, well, why not hold a competition? Um, why not really then use in the second year the work that I've been doing as a London leader for sustainability to showcase the fact that London is at the forefront when it comes to new ideas about fashion. The theme uh, for the competition was around water because, as people are aware, the fashion industry uses a huge amount of water, both in the production of things such as cotton, but also in dyeing um, and, and, and uh, textile production. But also we as individuals and consumers use a huge amount of water in the aftercare um, and the, obviously the laundering of, of products and there are all sorts of interesting things around our attitude towards cleanliness and how we feel clean and associate that with water. So there's quite a lot of work that's going on through ma quite a number of major multinationals um, looking at how we can work together to reduce water. So we thought well, this would be a great theme and would open up a whole series of possibilities for students to explore. And the winner um, this year was somebody called um, Emma Rigby and she'd worked to produce uh, a whole series of, of undergarments which reduced the need um, for laundering and, and again so that's quite an interesting one because obviously there are all sorts of associations around having clothes close to your body and the need to keep clean but also the fact that we need to change our attitude towards water so if we need to wash our clothes less uh, which we and we don't necessarily need to wash them as much as we do then again that will be a big step forward for, for us as consumers and for the industry as a whole so that was a very important category for us and the there were a number of other, well there were six categories in all um, for the competition. Uh, for example, we had one around design for a thriving fashion industry and that was won by Miriam Reader and she'd worked to create a hemp silk collection which used zero waste for example. Uh, there was enterprise and communication um, initiative for the um, for the future of the fashion industry and that was won by Zoe Grace Fletcher and she'd done uh, developed a whole range of knitted accessories which you could attach to your clothes which then for allowed you to update them without having to go and buy a whole new wardrobe you see what I mean. so th again that's quite important because it, it sort of sets up all sorts of ideas about um, updating and the need to be in fashion and, and so on um, and then there was some uh, there was a category around the roles of materials for a sustainable fashion industry and that was won by somebody from India, somebody called uh, Varun Gambia um, and that was an interesting one because what he'd done was taking recycled um, um, cotton paper and creating a new material which is an example of upskilling because I think the thing we want to get across through all of these awards is um, and through all the categories that we've got is the idea that there isn't one solution, that there have got to be a whole range of solutions for us to be able to both value our clothes more, um, think about their production, think about their laundering, think about why we need to have um, fashion and why it's so important in our lives. One of the things I think is quite interesting, when, when I, I've been a, doing uh, head of college for about four years now, uh, and one of the things that struck me as I came, it was also celebrating as a talking about before, celebrating its uh, 100 years, was thinking if we're going to have a future fashion industry um, in 50 years time, let alone 100 years, then we needed to really start to think about the fashion industry's attitude towards things like consumption, um, its contribution to, you know, negative contribution to, to something like climate change and so on, um, and begin to really challenge the idea that fashion uh, is something that is so ephemeral, is something where people are only interested in buying something, maybe not wearing it at all, certainly only wearing it once and then throwing it away. Because that isn't traditionally how fashion is. Um, it's only really a phenomenon that's, that's perhaps developed over the last 15 years with the uh, real push within the high street through certain chains um, who are really pushing this whole attitude of fast fashion. And somehow, in a way, fashion has mirrored some of the developments around food, the idea that you know we always want the cheapest 
you know, item of clothing, the cheapest bit of food, um, and that's what we value. We don't actually value the resources that have gone into producing it or the people who have gone into um, um, producing it. So the whole series of ethical issues. It's very interesting. People tend to think of fashion um, as just being something like women's wear. They all have an idea about perhaps being... John Galliano or Stella McCartney or whatever, but in fact the fashion industry is incredibly complex and here at the college we have students studying from further education all the way through to postgraduate research on every aspect of the industry. So it's if you're thinking about fashion, think a little bit about what you would like to do. That yes, it might be designing clothes, but within clothes, um, is that women's wear, is that men's wear, is that sports wear, for example, is it footwear, is it accessories, um, or are you more interested in perhaps being a journalist or PR, or are you interested in retailing? And some of our most successful courses are all the buying and merchandising. We have huge numbers of graduates working out there in the industry, um, uh, selling and, and uh, in all aspects of, of, of the fashion industry. So it's, there's also the whole cultural context, so you might want to again be a fashion historian or a fashion curator. And it, it, what we um, find really exciting is the fact that the industry also allows students to develop a whole range of skills. So we'll have courses in, for example, pattern cutting. What a lot of people um, who are at school uh, don't appreciate necessarily is the fact that if you are somebody like John Galliano, you will be working very closely with um, some key pattern cutters who are the people who are responsible for transforming your ideas and making some wonderful clothes.